This is Keep On Cooking, a podcast for people who love cookbooks and want to know more about the authors. It's also a great place to get a weekly dose of culinary inspiration to keep things pumping in the kitchen. So grab a cookbook and keep on cooking. I'm Dustin Harder, and this is Keep On Cooking. Hello, and welcome to Keep On Cooking, the only podcast dedicated to plant based cookbooks. I'm your host, Dustin Harder, and this week we're doing something a little different. It's not going to be so cookbook focused, but we are going to talk about that good, good food because I am in New York City prepping for the pop up Supernatural with the one and only Chloe Coscarelli. You know her, you love her, but in case you're just getting into this all, let me tell you a bit about Chloe. She first broke onto the culinary scene as the first vegan chef to capture the top prize on Food Network's Cupcake Wars. Chef Chloe Coscarelli has since been recognized for bringing vegan cuisine to the mainstream as an award-winning chef and best-selling cookbook author. Chloe shares her bright, colorful vegan recipes using fresh, healthy ingredients. She has published four best-selling cookbooks, Chloe Flavor, Chloe Kitchen, Chloe's Vegan Desserts, and Chloe's Vegan Italian Kitchen. The New York Times, Zagat, and Forbes have each recognized Chloe in their 30 Under 30 series. So I'm here, like I said, in New York, working with Chloe on this pop-up she's doing, Supernatural, and she's here to tell us all about it. Now, we're in the middle of the prep week here, and I want to share with you what I've learned uh, that we didn't get to talk about in the interview because it's sort of come up as the week has progressed. This is going to be a first come, first serve situation. So if you're excited about this pop up and you want to make sure you get in your good, good Chloe Eats, know that we have a limited quantity every day. So you got to show up, get in that line, and get at it when you want it. Here to talk about that menu some more the one, the only Chloe Coscarelli. <laughs> We have my queen vegan bee on the podcast today, one of the great loves of my life and truly one of the greatest mentors a fellow could have asked for when finishing culinary school almost a decade ago. It's the one, the only Chloe Coscarelli. Welcome to the Keep On Cooking Pod, Chloe. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. I should say welcome back. We're going to dive because everyone, she's on an episode previously, episode three. And we're going to dive right into your icebreaker question, my gal. If you had to delete all but three apps from your phone, which three would you keep? Okay. The first one would be the weather app because I'm checking it like it's my wedding for the pop-up. <laughs> the second one would be TaskRabbit. Embarrassingly, oh. I use that so much. That is good. Yeah. The other day I had someone carry 50 pounds split ships of my six floor <laughs> walk up and the last one would have to be Venmo I use that a lot yeah I get that I get that I get that I'm trying to think I guess Instacart would definitely be one of okay. mine which goes along with TaskRabbit I think yeah um what else am I using all the time I'm just get up my phone and look and see what's there I didn't prepare myself for this oh Marco Polo I use that all the time and you know my Fly Delta app because I'm flying <gasps> all the time Nice. Yeah, I'm not going to get rid of that one. I need it. I That's need it to exciting. know things. That's exciting. Do you count points and stuff? Yes. Wow. Yes. I've got some I've got some points I need to use up. I've got some points I need to use <laughs> up. Um, well, I'm so excited to be here with you in New York City. We are a week out and we're chatting all things supernatural. Yay. Supernatural, baby. It's the return. The long-awaited return of what was a smash hit podcast last time at nyc and when was this 2018 2019 four years ago four years and ago we're and we're back 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 <laughs> and how did the partnership with tom colicchio so you're partnering with tom colicchio for this how did that come to be let's see a while back my mom told me she read an interview with him okay and it was an interview about him talking about supporting entrepreneurs and Love she was that. like you should reach out to him so i cold reached out to him met with him and he was like let's do a pop-up amazing and i was like let's do it i didn't know that's how that came about of course shelly <laughs> Come on, Shelly, coming through. I love that. Well, so four years, what do you think you've learned between up and this pop-up? Oh, great question. Um, 
I would say, I don't know if this is how it is for you, but for me, I realized it sounds like a cliche. You never stop learning. Like it, it blows my mind how every time in the kitchen I learn something Mm -hmm. and then I'm like, okay, I've learned it all. And Mm -hmm. then you go into the kitchen tomorrow and you learn something else. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you an example. Maybe you already know this, but this is something that I learned. That storing avocado in a metal bowl, like, makes it oxidize faster. I did not know that. So you have to store it in plastic. Who puts things in plastic, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. We were in the kitchen, and we were testing, and we're like, gosh, why does this avocado not taste super fresh, but we (gasps) just cut it? And then I learned someone, another chef was like, oh, it's because it's in a metal bowl. And I was I like, know. I know, but like, you'd think we'd be done learning at this did point you? and we're never done. We're never done. We're <laughs> never done. And did you know, that makes me think of, I had a private chef gig like two years ago and the client walked into the kitchen and looked, it was like really annoyed with me. I had the bananas next to the other fruit. Okay. Did you know that that makes the bananas ripen faster? You may have known this. No. I didn't know that either. So for days I'd been watching these bananas actually for like a couple of weeks, they were getting like, I would have to buy new bananas because they were getting so ripe. So she walked in and she was like, you know, when you put bananas next to the fruit that they get super ripe really quick, Wait, right? so it's the other fruit that makes it ripen yeah. faster? No, I didn't know that. I have heard of people like spreading bananas out around their apartment like opening it from the bunch or something oh like know. snapping it off of the bunch to yeah. make it ripen no the opposite to oh like so it, it does down, which like would thin, so it makes sense that goes in now line it's with like that it's all coming. so see we learn something again all today the time on the podcast all the time and the funny funny and good thing great thing about cooking is you don't just learn these things from chefs i talk about my client who said that to me like Different people know different things about cooking because there's so many things to know and different things resonate with people about cooking too. So people pick up different things, you know, when they're reading a cookbook or whatever that I might not pick up reading the same cookbook and they're like, oh wait, did you know XYZ? Happens to me at work all the time. I work with a lot of people who love to cook, but they're not necessarily chefs and they'll be like, well, wait, doesn't XYZ happen? And I'm like, that's a good point. Maybe that's true. <laughs> Let's dive a little deeper. Well, wow, that's great. Then we're still learning and growing. And here we are, uh, Supernatural number two, which our dates for this are what? September 26th through October 1st. Nailed it. That's great. So that's a Tuesday, right? September 26th. Yep, and we- that's the day this podcast is coming out. <gasps> So we're telling so everyone. So it's opening day. It's opening day. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. Come say hi to us. Come say hi to us. If you live in New York. If you live in New York, come say hi. And let's get into it. Everyone wants to know. Let's talk about the menu for Supernatural. Very exciting. Of course, there will be all sorts of signature Chloe all over this menu that NYC goes bananas for every time. <laughs> and I can't wait to see the line out the door. What I'm a little in love with about this menu, I have to tell you is how focused it is. It's just like really streamlined in and it's a selection of some of the best, starting with your avocado toast. I love me some avo toast, but there's something, there has always been something truly magical about yours from when it's presented to that first luxurious bite and then seeing the crumbs on the plate. Tell us what's happening with the (laughs) avocado toast on the Supernatural menu. Oh my gosh, we're starting with bread from Sullivan Street Bakery, Mm. which gets baked fresh every morning. We're topping it with the best avocados we can find. Um, Have I told you about my avocado source? No. Okay, this is a pro tip for anyone in the New York area listening. It's called, I'm going to say it wrong, Davo Guy, like the avocado guy. Love. Look it up. Great. It's a guy and he supplies the best avocados to the best restaurants and you can order it and they become perfectly ripe. And his reputation is on the line if those avocados aren't perfect, right? So they're literally perfection. So we're planning to How get did you from find him. the avocado guy, though? Is this like an you insider restaurant? You see his car t- going around, and it's written on ah, it. Ah, yeah. okay. All you right. can order it to your home, too, so you don't have to have oh. a restaurant. You can get delivery. NYC, so listen sometimes up. Sometimes I'll just order like nine avocados to my apartment. Hot tip. Hot tip. Hot tip. I love it. So we've got the Sullivan okay. bread, the avocado. Yes. What else is happening on there Pickled for us? onion on mm. top. Drizzling it with truffle oil, olive oil, sea salt, black pepper, chili flakes. What else? And it's the most important part. So good. 
good. It's that truffle oil for me and those pickled onions every time. So delicious. Uh, and tell the listeners about the butternut mac you'll be serving. So, Dustin, I wanted to turn that question back on to you <laughs> because I first, when I first told you I was having a pop up, you said, Will there be Mac? And I said, No. And you said, I'd like to make a case for it. <laughs> and you made a case for it. And then we put it on the menu because of your case for it. So, what are we going to do? Well, my question <laughs> was I kind of was like, But everyone's going to ask, like, Where's your macaroni and cheese? You did Chloe? say that. And yeah. I don't know what was wrong with me. It was early in the summer. I was going through a phase where I was like, I don't know. I was like, I'm done with Mac. We're not doing Mac. I was just, it was Turning like a, a new re- rebellious teenage I moment or I something. Understand. I was like, I think we're just not going to do Mac this time. And then it's like one and a half weeks before the pop up. I come crawling back. I'm like, Jen, we're adding the it Mac. Did, it did kind of pop back up. I was like, oh, that slid back on there. I thought it was a lost, lost moment for us. Yeah. So let's see. I'm going to make butternut squash cheese delicious blended from roasted butternut squash and cashews and cayenne and there's some maple in there what else is there in our cheese i haven't looked at it yet I have oh, to be yeah. honest. Okay. Well, <laughs> so i've made, it, made before. it before i was gonna say i've made it before i'm pretty sure i have pictures of you with like stacks oh yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. i've made yeah. it before I've made... what's going on top of the mac and cheese do we have any toppings for the we're mac we're putting and cheese a tomorrow? crispy mushroom bacon we we're go. doing a smoked paprika curly parsley almond parmesan and you know what i want to add one more thing okay I'm playing around we're gonna figure that out tomorrow Dustin. okay i'm okay. here for it great. great all right good all right so um a mystery ingredient potentially coming on top of that macaroni and cheese and i will say we we have made this before that's why people love it this is like a recipe people know and love so they're going to be excited to get it the butternut mac returns and then you've got some cauliflower wings but not just any old cauliflower wings on this menu of course not these are hot honey cauliflower wings with a spicy aioli and talking about learning something new when i got this recipe from you to test it i had never used the calabrian chilies before <gasps> So I made this aioli with the Calabrian chilies and it was, it's so good. What made you think of this hot honey angle for the wings this time around? Ooh, well, I was sent a honey product called Melody Honey. Have okay. you heard of it? Mm-mm. It's brand new. I don't think you can buy it yet, but um, it's really excellent. Great. And they're using like plant extracts to make this honey product that tastes and looks and performs just like honey love that but it's vegan um they're using it at 11 madison park so you know it's okay good. then all right so, okay we're gonna use yeah it. we'll use it then great <laughs> great oh that's so good david loves honey he'll love to know about that too great. he likes trying different vegan honey so I that's good that. yes 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 uh well and that was that sort of the reasoning then you were like we've got to put this on something so the cauliflower yeah. wings became the home for it exactly that's delicious I, and everyone i really do love these wings they're so good and the the spicy aioli so dustin has too. tested these wings one hundred thousand <laughs> times by <laughs> now and then we're like dustin can you do it one more time but try 2.75 you know, yeah. minutes instead of two this or minutes. that this which is all you know we'll get in the kitchen and it'll be you know a restaurant kitchen to my home so i'm sure we'll have lots of changes too it'll be great it'll be fantastic uh well no menu is complete without some greens and you are serving them up dressed in your caesar dressing so we've got a kale caesar salad what's uh being served what's what's this kale caesar salad being tossed with it's being tossed with Caesar dressing, mm-hmm. capers, ciabatta croutons, yes. mushroom bacon. We're I'm excited for you to try it with our tricolored cherry tomatoes and yes. cucumbers. Yes. Um, one of the chefs on our team was like, mm, when I saw the cucumbers, I was like, not sure. But then once she tried it, she said yeah, it was yeah, yeah. awesome. So okay. we'll see what you think. Oh, I'm sure I'll love it. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the goods on the Caesar. We got cucumbers, tomatoes, the croutons, those ciabatta croutons coming through. Uh, crispy bacon, gotta have uh, that crunch. crispy mushroom bacon. Gotta have the crunch. Yes. That rounds us out for the kale Caesar. Great. And then for beverages, you're keeping it fresh with the basil infused lemonade. So refreshing. I also tested this and I loved it. David was obsessed with it. Uh, what else do you have in the mix for bevies at Supernatural? <gasps> okay. Well, the next option, aside from the basil lemonade, is adding vodka to yeah, the basil lemonade. A little boozy basil <laughs> lemonade. Good, good, good. Okay. And then we're going to 
America, BKE Kombucha, nice. which is made here in Bushwick, Great. Um, in Brooklyn, where we are right now. And let's see what else. Oh, we're going to be serving vegan wine from White Cliff Vineyards. Okay. Yeah. I was like, um, we know the um, the winemaker, Tristan. Beautiful. I texted him and I was like, what goes with all of these things? And he did a whole pairing for us. So please order a glass of wine wine if you come in you won't That's regret so it lovely what is it we're doing like a white and a red or we're doing a white and a rosé since it's okay. lunch only and it's all made very up in the smart. hudson valley yes 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 very smart a little light lunch wine i like exactly. that well we've got a couple handhelds on the menu the first one i want to mention is the hot italian for our listeners what's on the hot italian Okay, it's one of our favorite items that we've made together. Well, it starts with spicy mushroom meatballs. Mm -hmm. It's topped with cashew mozzarella, mm -hmm. basil, pesto, and our hot cherry so tomato good. jam, which so you and I made together last in Colorado. Yes, in when Colorado. When we were um, cooking for the governor's yes, wedding. Yes, we were. That... And it was a hit, so we're bringing it back. That tomato jam is like... It's a, that, mm, that's and that's great on that. I love that too. I love that you're putting on on there. Everyone, make sure you get that. Everyone just has to. They have to come and order like one of everything. Really, the like, secret to making that one. Oh. I think when I was at the wedding, I was making it and I just like left it on the stove and let then it just simmer. Kind of burn it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let it caramelize a little bit. Exactly. Get them sugars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you caramelize your tomato paste ever? Speaking of, yes. Okay. Did you? Is that something you've always done? Yes, I was. Once you're told you're supposed to do it, you like can't unhear it, and then you always do it. Did you learn that at culinary school? Do you remember? I can't. I might have learned it from my mom. Okay, everyone needs a Shelly. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did not know about caramelizing your tomato paste, and so I, I until like this last year, and Great. then I was like, "That's magical. Why have I not been doing this?" Anyways, speaking of caramelizing things, uh, well, now the burger that holds the name of the pop-up. It's the Supernatural Burger. Clay, Instagram post with this, mouthwatering, drool-worthy. Some might say iconic. Tell everyone what is piled up high on this burger of joy. All right, it's it's loaded. Um, it's a double patty. We're making that from scratch. We are adding butternut cheese on mm -hmm. top. We're adding that Calabrian chili aioli, grilled oh onions, God. Crisp lettuce, juicy tomato, pickles. Oh, yes. vegan brioche bun. Did I miss anything? No, I think that's it. I think that's so it. Good. There might have been. Did you? Was there avocado? avocado? Yeah, I was like, I swear in that oh picture, I saw a beautiful piece of avocado from the avocado guy. Just, so listen, yeah. I didn't want to put avocado on too many things. So I tested <laughs> a couple ways and I was like, is there any way that we can just do the, does the burger? We need avocado, and I served it to someone who was so testing funny. it out, and they were like, "Yeah, it's actually better with." So we're doing all right. It. Hey, I what, some things people know and love you for. Avocado is one of them, so no reason. <laughs> and other things people know you for. It would not be a Chloe pop up without some sweets. So the pre order for vanilla and chocolate sprinkle cakes has been live and been flying in. Of course, at the pop up, diners have the option of a chocolate or vanilla sprinkle a whole cake or a slice. So there's also a couple cookie options. We've got the Rocky Road and Chocolate Chunk Cookies, which is the one in the Instagram post with that delicious plop of like ooey gooey caramel in the photos. That's the special edition chocolate Ooh. chunk sea salt cookie and that's with caramel in it and there'll be a limited quantity of those available oh. each day. Well, okay. So everyone's hearing that limited qual qu quantity available each day. So you got to run, not walk to get yourself that limited edition uh, cookie. And what about the Rocky Road? What's in the Rocky Road? What's in Rocky Road? I know this answer. It's like some Everyone nuts, does right? It and like, yes, yeah. we're doing pecans. Okay. Coconut. Delicious. Marshmallow. Uh huh. Chocolate. Lots Great. of chocolate. Love it. Love it. And it's like a chocolate cookie, right? Yes. As well. Yes. And that okay. one's gluten free. Hey, look at that. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, that's not all for sweets. You're going to be serving up some decadent pumpkin cinnamon rolls. I think these are in one of your cookbooks, aren't they? They are. The The recipe has been worked on okay. for many okay. years since. Let's just say they're a lot. Oh, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. They, yeah. 
they're giant. Giant, giant pumpkin cinnamon <laughs> rolls. What goes on the top? What do we have for the icing on the top? Um, uh, just like a simple classic glaze. Great. I love it. I can't wait. Okay, so good, so good. And then we're not done with sweets, everybody. We've got a tiramisu soft serve. What's the base for the soft serve? The soft serve base is a vanilla bean cashew based mm, soft serve that fantastic. we're making from scratch and then we're layering it up with all the tiramisu goods including lots of rum and espresso yeah the perfect afternoon dessert truly truly people are gonna have some really fantastic uh lunch breaks yes, or they this are. week that's again <laughs> this comes out today the pop the pop-up opens today uh well what made you think of this delicious and sort of untraditional offering in the soft serve world with the tiramisu Let's see. I love tiramisu. It's probably my favorite dessert. And I always want to serve it in everything I do, but it doesn't like necessarily fit the sure. kind of casual sure. fast food vibes we're going for. So I was like, hmm, how how can I get away with serving? Perfect. Tiramisu. And you did it. Thanks. You did it. You really <laughs> did it. Um, and that sort of uh rounds out the menu for the pop-up there. You've got options for everyone. It's elevated, it's casual, it's all the things. People can come have a glass of wine, all the things at this pop up list, but I just want to tell everyone, and you can maybe elaborate a little. There's gluten-free options, right? We got that gluten-free cookie, and then there's items that can be made gluten-free if they want to have there's actually a Free options. Right. This is gonna be our best like gluten free selection yet. So come hungry, gluten free eaters. Good, 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 good. Okay, now this is usually a book bag moment on the cookbook podcast here, but since this is a special edition, we're shaking things up this week. What's your pop up brag? Something you're most when it comes to this supernatural. Um. Can we do a team brag? Yeah. No, really. I just don't know how I got so lucky. I mean, I feel like I have the very best team on planet Earth. We're all the closest friends and we work together. It really, it feels like, is it work? And but I recognize that's, that's like not totally normal for all kitchens and i just feel so grateful and thank you dustin oh my for flying here and being here i i actually shed a tear when you said yes when i sent that first text oh um it means the world just to have the original team yeah. back together we're yeah. gonna have a blast and we can't wait to see and meet all of you yes 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 oh i love that and i know that we're all excited to reunite and be here for it in the same energy as that so i i'm thrilled 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 uh that's great well we're gonna everyone come out and see it because we got the love we got the energy we got the vibe come out and see us at supernatural we're gonna finish things up i'm almost done here with you but we got to do your rapid fire round of <gasps> questions Whew, okay. are you ready can you handle it can Let's you dig do it? it all right pancakes or waffles you know those are the names of my cats well so i was gonna say <laughs> fun fact everybody fun fact you're like i can't possibly pick them but in this case i'm asking you to pick the food I mean, waffles was my firstborn. Pancakes is my baby. <laughs> we can't answer that, but I love them both. Okay, okay, great, 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 great. Uh, a pancake waffle. Yes. Uh, what's your favorite pasta shape? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, let's go thick. Yeah. Okay. Bucatini. Yeah, that's go a good one. You can't go wrong. It's a very good one. Now, this one might not be a rapid fire. I realize this, but if you could be an animal, what would you be and why? Um, I'm obsessed with cats. I'm just yeah, gonna say cats. be a cat. They do whatever the hell they want to do. You should absolutely. I should be work a cat. towards that. Are pancakes and waffles? Are they sweet cats or are they mischievous cats or are they? They're sweet. Okay. Yeah, that they're does, sweet. I'm, that, I'm not surprised by that. I love that. And um, do you collect anything? Rescue animals excluded. <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm actually the opposite of that question. I like hate things. I don't have a lot of things. Um, I that. My, if you came, most people that come over, they say, where are your things? Like, I want to not have things. Yeah, I, I actually have like a phobia of things. That's great. It's a great phobia to have. Stuff is like terrible. It's just mm -hmm. like, it's overwhelming. There's We have so much stuff. 
Like, we have so much. So I want to have so much. We can talk about this later. Yeah. It's, it was a process, <laughs> but. Uh, really? Yeah. It, okay. it doesn't happen overnight, but like once you realize that the most important thing is like people and experiences yes. and memories, you can kind of start. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Pass them on. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. I do want to pick up that conversation. Okay. okay. We're going to pick it up off the pod, everybody. <laughs> now, if you could cook for a dead celebrity, who would it be? Help me out. Who's yours? Mine's, well, I don't, Betty White. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can say Betty White, too. <laughs> right. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, sure, I'll cook for a golden girl. Why not? She loved animals. You Great. Know, let's, let's feed her vegan food. Uh, favorite quick food item when you need a meal fast? Like something you, you turn to when you're like, I need to have dinner, but like I didn't think about it. What am I going to make? Cookie dough? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm jealous too. That's what I want. Uh, I had it last night. Oh, good for you. Barbecue sauce or hot sauce? Hot sauce. Yeah. Favorite? Spicy. Spicy, spicy. It seasons anything up quickly. You can add a dash and then you got a little extra Love flavor it. in there if you don't want the heat. Uh, favorite flavor of ice cream? Mint. Ah, very good. Yeah. Yes, like David's too. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm in good company. Yeah, you are. Uh, mint and chocolate chip, or are you just like straight up mint? Have you ever had a straight up mint ice cream? <laughs> Doesn't exist. Yeah, Definitely I was going to say, mint chocolate. mint chocolate chip, yeah. I was like, I don't think that's a thing. I guess that would be more kind of like toothpaste if you didn't have yeah, like the chocolate sure. chip in there. Okay. Uh, what dish did you recipe test last? Probably something for the pop-up. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely yesterday, and it's all blending together. Yep, got but it. We've been working hard. Yep, kitchen. that makes sense. Uh, if you could pick up a certain skill instantly, what would it be? Oh, well, I've been trying CrossFit. Nice. I would love to do a pull-up. It's never going to happen. That's good. I think it could happen. But if I could do it instantly, I'd pick that. I wonder if I can do a pull-up now. Oh, you 100% could. I got injured in CrossFit <gasps> like three months in, and I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. Really? Yes. Not that I'm saying you should stop. I think oh, it's I don't also go that just... hard. I could never injure myself. <laughs> it's something about, I don't know how it is for you, but when I'm a, it's not a competition thing because I'm not feeling like, ooh, I need to be better than anyone, but mm -hmm. it's just the energy in the room that I start to like push really hard. And yeah. then I do things I probably shouldn't do. Yeah, you yeah. see other people doing things. Yeah. And you're like, oh, give me another way. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. I injured, I was out for like three months. I hurt oh, my knee. Yeah. Anyway, okay. is there a vegetable you dislike that we would never see on a Chloe menu? No. Ah, good. Mm -hmm. And uh, your last one, donuts or cupcakes? <gasps> donuts. Nice. All right. So let everyone know where they can find you on social media and the <gasps> internet. You can find me on Instagram at chef chloe yes. or at supernatural that's right at eat supernatural and then website is chloe.com right yep great or eat supernatural.com that's exactly right all the details at eat supernatural.com and of course you can find us at chloe coscarelli's pop-up with tom calicchio at 47 east 19th street between park and broadway starting today through october 1st open for lunch to serve you between 11 and 3 now listen if you can't make it to the pop-up you know you can get your hands on chloe's cookbooks you have four to choose from chloe's kitchen chloe's vegan desserts chloe's italian kitchen and chloe flavor everywhere books are sold and you can go listen to episode three of keep on cooking to hear chloe and i talk about all of those books and then episode 75 of keep on cooking david and i do a deep dive into chloe's italian kitchen because chloe that's david's favorite so be sure to check those out but do get the to nyc this week and get to supernatural and join us for some yummy eats chloe thank you for inviting me to thank you for inviting me to the party again and for making time to share the details about it on the podcast i appreciate you so much Thank you for being here. Thank you, Dustin. It's an honor to talk with you, cook with you, and be your friend. Yay! <laughs> this has been a Muzzy Cat production. <laughs>